Well, here we sat in the Home Depot parking lot, getting ready to go inside. But whenever you change a breaker out like that, you've got a bad breaker or something, it's always best to bring it with you. Because all breakers are not made equally. Um, they snap in in different spots, different ways, and sometimes it can be a mystery. Hello everybody. Well today we will be changing a breaker. And the reason we're going to be changing a breaker is because this unit here and this unit here have got the wrong size breaker attached in the panel right there. We'll show you that here in a sec. But the reason we're going to change it is the lady is selling her house and if you notice right there this one's got to be protected by a 15 amp breaker. Uh, this one over here has got to be protected by a 20 amp breaker. As you see right there, the maximal overcurrent protection amps plus 20. Uh, so, uh, had the home inspector out looking at the house. <clears throat> he checked the breaker sizes. And if you look right there, I know it's hard to see, but that one is actually a. Um, see if I can get up on it. That one's a 25, and that one's a 20. All we're going to do is take this 20, take it over here, put it over here to protect this one here. And then we're going to use the open space and put a 15 where the 20 once was. So to do this job, really all you need is two things. You need a screwdriver. And you need a 5 16 nut driver. Reason for the 5 16 nut driver? For that screw right there. Now this changing this breaker is no different than changing a breaker in your electric panel. And if you're scared of electricity, which it needs to be respected, and you're changing the breaker out, you can always change, uh, turn the main power off. We'll show you on this house where the main power uh, breaker is located. All we're going to do here is we're just going to take the screwdriver like that. And I'm doing trying to do this one handed, so let that rest on there and just pull it out. Like that. And there you go. So you see the wires right here go up and feed that in here. And so we'll just turn them off like that. Turn this one off like that. If you're unsure about changing out a breaker because you're scared of the power, that's no problem. Just find your main breakers at your house. And in this case, as you see, we have our meter, and then we have a another breaker box, and another breaker panel. Go over, lift it up like that. And as you see, there's a 150 amp breaker. You just turn it down, turn it off, and in this case, you just push it down. And then the other panel over here, <coughs> Same thing, you have another 150 amp breaker. Just turn them both of those off, and there you go. Power will be shut off to the house. All right, to get this breaker out, first thing we're going to do is just take your screwdriver there since the power is off, and turn like that. Turn. That one was kind of loose, so so it's almost a good thing we checked. We checked it. You pull the wire out like that. So now, and actually, while we're in here, it's a good thing to to check and make sure that your wires 
are going to the right unit like this one right here comes in from right this this side here so we follow it around and we can see that you know if it spins around and goes over here and it does go to this one that's supposed to be the 15 amp circuit so like I said I know on this particular breaker which is a cutler hammer uh, you can't really see it because it's not in black but that is a 20 amp breaker and like I said that's a 25 so like I said we're just going to take this one take this one flip it over to here take this one get rid of it and get a 15 and put a 15 amp right here I did not bring one with me this morning because I didn't know what kind it was so I'll have to go get one I mean I don't carry a bunch of different breakers on the truck you know maybe for the most common ones I, I have a couple 20s and 30s and you know that kind of stuff stuff that I would normally use alright so I got the breaker out and I couldn't show that because it was just too hard to do it one-handed um, the one on the left came out pretty pretty hard and the one on the right it was fairly easy to come out but here's what the breaker is see there's two sides of it and all this breaker is is nothing more than two 110 breakers uh, put together joined by this little piece here in the center uh, so this is what we call a double pole breaker um, you know and it, of course it was a single pole it would just be one I couldn't show getting the breaker out but you can look at it and tell it's got a little it's got a little lip right here and what that does that little lip fits right here so when you put it in you just put those little jaws at the bottom of the breaker on that little lip and you lift up and put it in but while we're in here let me show you you know I told you that this this was nothing more than 210 volt breakers put together well you got two legs feeding in right here at that leg and that leg and what it does if you see see right there can't get too close there's still power um, see the black one of the 110 volt legs comes in and it feeds across the bottom you see you got a screw there and a screw there little leg going up little to the bus bar and then you have another one the white one there comes down and it feeds 110 volts and you see right there at the top and the other one right there at the top where the screws are so the top is the is the white leg and the bottom is the um, bottom leg and so when you hit that one together and that one that gives you 220 volts hit that one together and that one that gives you another 220 volts but each one is 110 volts there you go that takes the mystery out of the breaker so anyway I'm gonna get this stuff put back together and be done with it alright since I couldn't show taking it out I guess I'll show putting it back in like I said you had that little those jaws at the bottom and they're gonna fit up on that lip right there and this is a 20 amp breaker I know you can't see it uh, but but it is a, it is definitely the 20 amp breaker so you just take it in there like that you get that bottom lip and you just take it so there you go the job is done so you can see that 15 there and that one of course is a 20 that we took from this side over here and we moved it over there got our wires connected and uh, we're ready to go I'm gonna turn them on and be done there you go done so that is how easy it is to change a breaker. Uh, so, uh, had the home inspector out looking at the house. <clears throat> he checked the breaker sizes. And if you look, right there, I know it's hard to see, but that one is actually a, um, see if I can get up on it. That one's a, 25 and that one's a 20. All we're gonna do is take this 20, take it over here, put it over here to protect this one here. And then we're gonna 
use open space and put a 15 where the 20 once was. So to do this job, really all you need is two things. You need a screwdriver and you need a 5 16 nut driver. The reason for the 5 16 nut driver, for that screw right there. Now this changing this breaker is no different than changing a breaker in your electric panel. And if you're scared of electricity, which it needs to be respected, and you're changing the breaker out, you can always change, uh, turn the main power off. We'll show you on this house where the main power uh, breaker is located. All we're gonna do here is we're just gonna take the screwdriver like that. And I'm doing trying to do this one hand. Well here we sat in the Home Depot parking lot getting ready to go inside. But whenever you change a breaker out like that, you've got a bad breaker or something, it's always best to bring it with you. Because all breakers are not made equally. Um, they snap in in different spots, different ways, and sometimes it can be a mystery. Hello everybody. Well today we will be changing a breaker. And the reason we're going to be changing a breaker is because this unit here and this unit here have got the wrong size breaker attached in the panel right there. We'll show you that here in a sec. But the reason we're going to change it is the lady is selling her house and if you notice right there this one's got to be protected by a 15 amp breaker. Uh, this one over here has got to be protected by a 20 amp breaker. As you see right there, the maximal overcurrent protection amps plus 20. I have a couple 20s and 30s and you know that kind of stuff, stuff that I would normally use. All right, so I got the breaker out, and I couldn't show that because it was just too hard to do it one-handed. Um, the one on the left came out pretty, pretty hard, and the one on the right, it was fairly easy to come out. But here's what the breaker is. See, there's two sides of it, and all this breaker is is nothing more than two 110 breakers uh, put together, joined by this little piece here in the center. Uh, so this is what we call a double pole breaker. Um, you know, and it, of course it was a single pole, it would just be one. I couldn't show getting the breaker out, but you can look at it and tell. It's got a little, it's got a little lip right here. And what that does, that little lip fits right here. So when you put it in, you just put those little jaws at the bottom of the breaker on that little lip and you lift up and put it in but while we're in here let me show you you know I told you that this this was nothing more than 210 volt breakers put together well you got two legs feeding in right here at that leg and that leg and what it does if you see see right there can't get too close there's still power um, see the black like that Turn. That one was kind of loose, so so it's almost a good thing we checked. We checked it. You pull the wire out like that. So now, and actually, while we're in here, it's a good thing to to check and make sure that your wires are going to the right unit. Like this one right here comes in from right this this side here. So we follow it around. And we can see that, you know, if it spins around and goes over here, and it does go to this one that's supposed to be the 15 amp circuit. So, like I said, I know on this particular breaker, which is a Cutler Hammer, uh, you can't really see it because it's not in black. But that is a 20 amp breaker, and like I said, that's a 25. So, like I said, we're just going to take this one take this one flip it over to here 
take this one get rid of it and get a 15 and put a 15 amp right here I did not bring one with me this morning because I didn't know what kind it was so I'll have to go get one I mean I don't carry a bunch of different breakers on the truck you know maybe for the most common ones I and it so let that rest on there and just pull it out like that and there you go so you see the wires right here go up and feed that in here and so we'll just turn them off like that turn this one off like that if you're unsure about changing out a breaker because you're scared of the power that's no problem just find your main breakers at your house and in this case as you see we have our meter and then we have a another breaker box and another breaker panel go over lift it up like that and as you see there's a 150 amp breaker you just turn it down turn it off and in this case you just push it down and then the other panel over here <coughs> same thing you have another 150 amp breaker just turn them both of those off and there you go power will be shut off to the house all right to get this breaker out first thing we're going to do is just take your screwdriver there since the power is off and turn 